Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today to go through the three things that you want to focus on when you're working on side lying with your infant. Side lying is another developmental position that we want to incorporate throughout an infant's day starting at birth. Typically the positions we talk about are tummy time or prone play and back play. But side lying is another important position that we want to start to work into an infant's routine during different wake windows. The reason why side lying is important is it works on being on the side, which is a precursor skill for rolling. It's a half roll as opposed to a roll all the way over. It also works on bringing hands to midline and because you're on your side, you're not having to lift your arms to bring them to midline, so it makes it a little bit easier. And it works on hand-eye coordination, so the infant is starting to work on holding an object or engaging with an object with their hands and visually tracking what they're doing as well. There are a couple different ways that you can work on sideline, but there are three main things that we're looking at when we're incorporating sideline with an infant. When I'm initially working on sideline with an infant, I actually like to use my leg to support the infant, but I'll also show you how you can do this on a bobby pillow as well. The first thing when we're looking at sideline is we want the infant's back to be straight. What we don't want to see is the infant arching their back a lot because that means that they're using extension of their back and they're not working with a neutral spine to work on flexion of the rest of the body. So we're first looking for a straight back. If you put your infant in this position and they're automatically arching out of it, you're just gonna work on lying on their side for a few minutes and not implement anything else until they're doing a great job at that position. So I like to have my leg behind them. That supports their spine and staying straight, which means we can move on to the next step. The next step for side lying is actually bringing both the knees and the hips up into a flexion position. So I'm working right here. And the reason why I like my using my legs is I can have one leg supporting their back. And my other leg can actually be supporting their knees and hips. So we're looking for their knees and hips to be in a bent position because that's gonna allow them to work on a, bit, a little bit of flexion and to bring their hands together at midline a little bit easier. And then finally, what we're looking for is for the hands to come together. Sometimes when infants are initially doing side lying, they might have their arm really far back. And what you're gonna work on first, if that's what they're doing, is just holding their arm in the middle so that their arm is right next to their shoulder and not even working on getting all the way to midline, but just working on it being forward if they are starting back here. If they're already starting with it forward, you're gonna encourage that hand to come towards the other hand, and then we're gonna engage with our toys. So when you're working on sideline, you're always looking at the toy being where you want the head to go. If your toy is too high, you're going to see them arching. If the toy is too low, they're gonna be tucking their neck a little bit too much. So you want the toy to be at eye level. For this, I'm looking for the head to either be in neutral or tucked a tiny bit. So I'm gonna put the toy right here on a diagonal and I can see that they can see the toy and interact with it some. You can also use, I really love to use Mardi Gras beads. There's a ton of different ways you can use them with infants, but this is also a great way that you can work on sideline. You can have it here um, with kind of this bigger strand. I can have it in infant's hand as well, so they can be interacting while I'm holding it, which helps them figure out where the toy is in space. Um, and they can be engaging with that while they're working on that hand-eye coordination as well. Whenever you're working on sideline, you wanna make sure you're doing both sides. I typically will do both sides within one wake window so that I make sure I'm always addressing both sides to work on that symmetry. The other way you can work on this is also against a boppy pillow, but you're gonna turn the boppy pillow around so that the flat part is what's supporting the infant's back. When I'm initially introducing this position, I typically do it for two to three minutes on both sides based on the infant's tolerance. If you have any questions regarding side lying or any developmental questions, please reach out and we'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks so much.